Welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. I'm so grateful you've chosen to join us today. Whether you're just starting your morning, taking a break in the midst of a busy day, or winding down in the evening, this is a moment for us to be together in God's presence. It's Sunday, July 28th, the 10th Sunday after Pentecost. Let's take a moment to become more aware of God's presence. Take a deep breath and invite the Holy Spirit to fill the space around you and within you. Come, Holy Spirit. Let's pray. Gracious God, you have placed within the hearts of all your children a longing for your word and a hunger for your truth. Grant that we may know your Son to be the true bread of heaven and share this bread with all the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Today's reading is from the Gospel of John, chapter 6. Let's listen with open hearts. After this, Jesus went away to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd was following him because they were observing the miraculous signs he was performing on the sick. So Jesus went up on the mountainside and sat down there with his disciples. Now the Jewish feast of the Passover was near. Then Jesus, when he looked up and saw that a large crowd was coming to him, said to Philip, Where can we buy bread so that these people may eat? Now Jesus said this to test him, for he knew what he was going to do. Philip replied, Two hundred silver coins worth of bread would not be enough for them, for each one to get a little. One of Jesus' disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, Here is a boy who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what good are these for so many people? Jesus said, Have the people sit down. Now there was a lot of grass in that place. So the men sat down, about five thousand in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed the bread to those who were seated. He then did the same with the fish, as much as they wanted. When they were all satisfied, Jesus said to his disciples, Gather up the broken pieces that are left over, so that nothing is wasted. So they gathered them up and filled twelve baskets with broken pieces from the five barley loaves left over by the people who had eaten. Now when the people saw the miraculous sign that Jesus performed, they began to say to one another, This is certainly the prophet who is to come into the world. Then Jesus, because he knew they were going to come and seize him by force to make him king, withdrew again up the mountainside alone. Now when evening came, his disciples went down to the lake, got into a boat, and started to cross the lake to Capernaum. It had already become dark, and Jesus had not yet come to them. By now a strong wind was blowing, and the sea was getting rough. Then, when they had rowed about three or four miles, they caught sight of Jesus walking on the lake, approaching the boat, and they were frightened. But he said to them, It is I. Do not be afraid. Then they wanted to take him into the boat, and immediately the boat came to the land where they had been heading. Word of God. Word of life. Thanks be to God. Five loaves and fish People coming like a flood Everyone had a wish He raised his eyes to heaven Broke the bread with care Five thousand fed and more Showing love beyond compare Walking on water Feeding the crowd Lift your voices loud In the night strong wind blows 
Disciples in a boat Fear not, he calmly shows Faith will make you flow Falling down on bended knees Strength from his endless grace Rooted deep in love's decree His power fills this space Walking on water Feeding the crowd is loud Falling down on bending me Strength from his endless grace Rooted deep in love's decree His power fills this space Walking on Now that we've been fed by God's word, let's take a moment to turn our hearts to God in prayer. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Through Christ, whoever lives to make intercession for us, let us pray to the Lord. Lift up our hearts to the heavenly places and inspire us to serve you as a royal priesthood. God of grace, hear our prayer. Let all peoples acknowledge your kingdom and grant on earth the blessing of peace. God of grace, hear our prayer. Send down upon us the gift of the Spirit and renew your church with power from on high. God of grace, hear our prayer. May peace abound and righteousness flourish, that we may vanquish injustice and wrong. God of grace, hear our prayer. Help us to proclaim the good news of salvation and grant us the needful gifts of your grace. God of grace, 
Hear our prayer. Let us commend the world for which Christ prays to the mercy and protection of God. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you for joining us for daily prayer. We appreciate the chance to pray with you today. If this podcast has blessed you, please share it with others who may need a moment of prayer and encouragement. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss an episode. To support our ministry, visit our website at goodshepherdlife.org. Remember, no matter what challenges you face today, God's love surrounds you. Stay well. Spread kindness. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.